Norma Kamali joins me now. Um, what you said about the objectification of women is exactly what I have said to um, guys um, that I've been with that say something about a woman or that, you know, or looking at porn. Yeah. Just want you to remember that's somebody's daughter. Mm. And um, that always makes people go, but it is. Mm. And there's just this weird thing that, that happens. And here you are in the fashion industry. Miley Cyrus has worn your clothes. Mm -hmm. Miley Cyrus is gone a little over the edge. Mm. So how do, you, how do you balance this? Yeah. You know, I, I've, I've been around women for so many years and watched our behavior because I'm, I'm right in there with them. And one of the things that I, I've discovered is we want so desperately to be loved from a very early age. And it's much more than men have it for women to love them. We want you to love us. We want, we want to have a diamond ring to show somebody loves us. And you'll see young girls wearing Facebook outfits. Mm -hmm. It's not even fashion. They're 16 year old. They're at a wedding or a bar mitzvah, and they have little short dresses, high high shoes, it's long disturbing. hair, low. They're all wearing the same outfit. They don't even know why they're wearing that outfit. I was I was doing some judge of some 16 magazine or whatever that thing was. I was young in my career as a top 40, and I saw these kids pretending to be sexy and they had no idea what mm -hmm. and, it, and I was horrified by it. Well, I mean, they know, they do know. They were that mod they, they were modeling the behavior. Yeah, but they do know that they're going to get a reaction from the boys. And that may be then they then that boy might want want to be my boyfriend and might love me. So how do you how do you break it? You know, it, it's it's a big one. It's a it's a huge one. And and one of the things that I realized when I watched Bridesmaids and I saw John Hamm. I don't know if you saw Bridesmaids or will admit to it. No, I didn't Glenn, see it. I did. I did. But there are a lot of people that saw <laughs> I, Bridesmaids. I'd admit and, to it. And <laughs> Bridesmaids. And so John Hamm is seducing this young girl who is allowing herself to. She's objectifying herself because she believes. She's going to turn him around and he'll fall in love with her. After I saw that, every woman I had a meeting with, and I have meetings with women all the time in my business, I'd always ask, anybody seen Bridesmaids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody here being, ever been in a situation like that? Unanimously, we all, we all allowed ourselves to be objectified so that we could be loved. Now, undoing that is a really complicated thing but fast forward to the conversation of having a man help us identify what it is that is controlling us and that's this self-esteem issue and and the mm -hmm. the objectification and helping men at, men helping us get out of it it's a, a long conversation it's a lot of a lot of understanding and I'm working with college girls now and talking to I just did a thing at JP Morgan with 600 women and talking more and more and sharing our stories so that we can start inspiring each other the the men though have to be yes. part of it I mean yes uh, you know um, I started my own clothing line and I, I wanted to, uh, I can't, you can't, I mean, I don't know how you do it for women because they're all different sizes and everything else. It's crazy. Yes. Um, but I always, my daughter is the size of Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. That used to be beautiful. Well, it now still you, is. I know. I mean, I mean for the, but now you go to a store, a, a popular store, oh, they don't carry that mm -hmm. size. And it's like, wait a minute. It's Marilyn Monroe is beautiful. What are you yeah. talking about? And, and it's, cr it's crazy what we're doing. It's crushing right. what we do. Well, you know, it's, it's also m how you feel about yourself and, and how beautiful you feel that is more important. And I know that sounds right on paper, but there are things to do. And, and part of my job is find those things and to help women 
discover how to free themselves. Would you come back next time I'm up in New York? Would you come back and I will. we could spend maybe an hour? Okay. 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 Would you do that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> back in just a second. <laughs>